And welcome to the FIVB guidance of former New Zealand international Kirk Pittman. As we meet the referees for this bronze medal match. Binan, the first referee on the stand for this bronze medal encounter. Sun Zhu Hong, the second referee. The second referee on the stand. The Brazilian pairing losing out to Canada. Melissa Imana Paredes and Sarah Pavin in the semi final in two quick sets. All to play for though, over 600 FIVB World Tour points and pride and the bronze medal. The action coming our way will be intense. Certainly, it's all to play for. First out, Maria Faye Artaccio, 24 years old, born in Peru, but now resides in Adelaide with the best of the Australian program. She's five foot nine and she'll be playing defense. Her partner, well, a former defender, now a blocker, 25 years old, Talika Clancy, 25 years old, but has so much experience from her time with Louise Borden, including a fifth at the Rio Olympics in 2016. Their opponents, well, Number one, Agatha, 34 years old now, a 2015 world champion with Barbara and the runners up in Rio 2016. A new partner nowadays and a double world under 21 champion. The present and the future of beach volleyball. Eduarda Santos Lisboa, known as Duda. It's their 12th event together. One win, two second places, and three bronze. They would, well, they will be wanting to add a fourth to that tally. That's for sure. The Australians, well, they played five together, two wins, and only three overall losses. One of those was at the Commonwealth Games, where they took silver last week to the finalist Sarah Pavin and her partner Paradays. This one's underway. Duda. Hello. Dynamic, smooth, nice. Swing down the line from her. Clancy the target early on. Clancy, so dynamic, jumps so, so well and hits some quite outrageous angles. Agatha, who was the service target through the semi-final, she does love rolling back to the line. Maria Fain, not the biggest on the court at 5'9", but shows she can leap with the best. Agatha. Someone so experienced, played the game with Maria Antonelli, Carol and Shelda, some legends in there. That's a knuckle dug by Maria Faye Artaccio. The Aussies love running the two ball. They try and put the ball into scoring positions as early in the rally as they possibly can. Very easily done so when you're digging a cut shot. The angle is made for you with the attack of the opposing team. Serve is a little bit long. The Australians, they'll be looking to run the two ball. They'll be looking to run the ball at times a little bit wider, looking to run the blocker around, keep them very, very interested. They'll also be looking to speed the game up at times. We're sure as well. The Brazilians, well, there's the two ball again. Doesn't matter who's hitting it. It's either or, Clancy or Altaccio. Big angles. Duda, 19 years young. And already, such a fierce force to be reckoned with on this World Tour. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit of an epic. Yeah. 
Klaus is so, so accurate. She steps out well, her feet get back to the ball very, very quickly, springs out the sand, and it just clips the back half of the baseline. Klaus choosing to go with the jump serve, as we've seen throughout the competition. It's something that scores this team numerous amounts of points. Rips one straight towards Agatha, hitting from the center of court. Sees that Clancy's peeling the block. Tries to test her out to see if she can get back, be balanced, have her hands high above her head. She can't. On to Again, this is something that defines the game of the Australians. They run that two ball so, so well. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on that occasion. Ball gets it. Ball gets into a good zone. Doesn't matter who it is. Atachio. Or Clancy, they will try and score at the earliest possible time. High line as well seen. Atachio at full stretch. The crowd love that. But unfortunately, it's out of reach from Clancy. Clancy very much in transition. She's played defense for a long, long time. She played with Lou Borden for three or four years as a defender. She's now training full time as a blocker in this partnership. Looking to try and play the ball into positions where they can hit the ball on two. Unorthodox is not very clean, but Australia. Again, Clancy. And this is where she goes into her own zone. They call it the hubby wife serve, but she's just split Brazil in two. She goes for a similar serve again. Agatha struggling. She's well out of system, well out of sync. Clancy decides to stay in block. She gets rewarded for it this time. Has to chase in now. Should be a Brazil point. Surely they're so insistent. Very nice. Reverse play. Cut it back on the cut shot. Good vision from Brazil. The Brazilians, well, they beat Kelly Larson and Emily Stockman, who won the one-star event in Thailand just last week in the first pool game. They also beat Stubi and Van Ersel from the Netherlands in straight sets. A win against China, followed with a big, big win against Alex Kleinerman and April Ross for the United States. They won that in three. And the last two sets were 27-29 to the US, 15-13 in the third to Brazil. And then they lost that semi-final game against the number one seeds, Imana Paradez and Sarah Pavin. The Aussies, well, they started with a great win against Kelly Clays and Brittany Hotchover, who they lost to in the semi-final. Unbelievable scenes. Overpass dealt with easily from Agatha all day long. Then they also beat another Brazilian team, Carolina Horta, Tiana Lima. Lima seems to have been around for a long, long time in three. Then just squeezed past Nicole Brenner and the legend of the game, Kerry Walsh Jennings. 2018 in the third. Then they were so impressive. Another point for Australia. So impressive against Chantal Laboria and Julia Suda. 21 16, 21 10. For losing out to Clayton Hotchever in their second encounter of this tournament. There's how these teams got here. And there's a long way to go in this one for sure. Taliqua Clancy. Rain it in because this is so, so good. A big cheer, maybe one more of relief from Brazil because Clancy is just absolutely whipping her arm through. Do that. Won the World Under-21 Championships in Lucerne in 2016, then retained it. It's a difficult shot to play when you're so straight on to turn the whole body and play the ball back on a cut shot. Doesn't work this time. Then Re Duda retained her crown in Nanjing last year. Nine career wins for the youngster at such a young age. 
battle on well and truly. This time Agatha from the right side. She has a little fiddle down the middle, away from Artaccio. Scores are tied at 10. This one, it's just when it's calm before the storm, but you can tell there's a storm coming our way. The clouds, though, have lifted here in Charmaine on two, Maria Fey. They are running this two ball so much easier than they did in the semi-finals. And it's really taking the pressure off their side out. Technical timeout. The Aussies that lead by one. Technical timeout, one minute long, just gives the players time to reflect, refocus, regroup, maybe a little bit of planning for the second. Tacho, but with the ball in hand, played at Rio 16 with her former partner, Nikki Laird. Lost to USA, Switzerland, and China in the pool stages, so had to settle for a 19th place. Now looks like she's found her match with Alika Clancy, with Louise Bowden. Retiring as well, but what a time they had under the guidance of Steve Tutton, legendary coach of the game in Australia. Brazil dropping the ball in short on Clancy, trying to get her out of sync with her approach, but she still manages to bang angle very, very nicely. Take a bow, Duda. She's off balance. She's well out of rhythm, but she still manages to see the gap and find it, just slicing the ball away from her body, hitting off the body delightfully well. It's a good serve away from the body of Clancy. It's so tight to the net. You do not need to ask Agatha twice to bury that bad boy in the sand. But over set. The Australians have lost three in a row here. Potentially might have to ask themselves to side out, looking to go on two with Maria Fay with the knuckle. Takes it in her stride. It's pretty close to the net, but she just manages to manipulate the ball. She knows the situation is in front of her. She knows if she goes deep angle, it's a high percentage that she'll score. She does so easily. Service pressure from Clancy is again very high, getting some ooh from the crowd. Ball's pinged back on one from Artaccio. A little look again from Agatha. And that one has gone way out the back. Tied again. At 13 all. Breeze just coming across the court. Clancy this time. Misses one, but that's the question all the time, isn't it? Risk versus reward. Uh, high risk for aces, serving good positions. But sometimes you have to risk making an error as well. Clancy loves that. Running the reverse ball, shooting the line. She knows that as the ball increases in distance across the net, the blocker has longer to run. The defender has to sit round on the angle and respect that one. It's unfortunate, it's a good decision if it drops half a metre back. Or maybe there was a touch off the block, my mistake. Didn't see that one. Agatha loves chipping line. Nancy knew it was coming her way. She doesn't manage to get her right hand round the ball, finger pointing back into the court. Fifteen, fourteen, edgy start to this one. Hats off. Hats off to that dig for Attaccio. Second time, this time Duda. Duda tries to hit one of the most acute angles of the entire tournament. And of course, 
she succeeds. Eat that, Australian. Such a difficult swing, approaching so straight, working it off the body. Touching this time from the middle, opens up all the shots, chooses the short line. Well read, she held very still, watched to the last moment. Duda has to make another dig here though, no way, Clancy. Steers it back to the line. They're coming good again. The green and gold. Clancy. So dominant with that spin serve early on. Duda this time from the middle, chips on the cuddy. Red like an absolute dream from Artaccio. And then fires one through the block defense to open up a two point lead. Duda has every trick in the book at just 18. Has a good look at the court. Whips it back with a full stretch. Taccio is equal to it every step of the way. Interesting from Clancy. They have a two point lead and she decides to stand down just to keep the ball in, and it looks like a fantastic. Good look from Agatha. Sees the line. She always wants to take it, but Australia know that. So as much as Agatha's going to be happy that she's just scored, Atacio knows. She's waiting. She's watching. She approaches pretty straight as well. Atacio, so it's always going to be her strong direct. Sorry, Agatha. So it's always going to be her strong area. The Aussies go back to do what the Aussies do best: initiate the two ball, score with the two ball. You know the Australians are playing well when the two boys working for them. Tache with the ball in hand. Agatha yet again. Tries to go after the angle. She loves coming to the line, Agatha. Not as comfortable. She's a little bit out of system, hitting from a little bit downtown. Regardless, Australia have four set points. Not this time. Two wins on the FIVB World Tour for this team. The Sydney two start, the Quinns have three start. Now they're siding out to win the first set of this bronze medal match in a four star event where they haven't medaled as a team as of yet. First dig from Agatha Ferris. Delightful. And the transition is an absolute worldie. This is just knowledge. She knows that Clancy is going to break on her. And if there's anywhere you don't want to defend in beach volleyball, it's above your head, it's so uncomfortable. Anything in front of you, it's more comfortable. Anything above the head, it's very difficult to get behind the ball and steer it to your partner. Very good from Agatha. They're just in touch here.
timeout from Australia. Good decision. They still have two attempts before we go into overtime. We're tied at 20, or it's two clear points. But actually, even if they lose this set, they've just started to slowly push back, get some initiative in this one. Agatha, former world champion of this sport, doesn't get into block. Clancy whips the ball back to the line on two. Australia doing what they well and truly do best. And they take the first set. Relentless from the Aussies here in Charmen. Clancy and Artaccio both being successful on two. Serving well. The block defense, a delight as well. And because of all of those factors, they take the first set from Agatha and Duda from Brazil, 21-18. Some highlights from what was a good set. The second set has already got underway here. Apologies about that. Brazil taking the first point. Great first set from Australia. I think the turning point, there were so many factors in that set for why they were successful. Outrageous chop shot, cut shot from Artaccio. There's so many factors why Australia was successful, but Clancy is coming of age here in a way, just experience. So good with the spin serve, but then at the right time decided to stand down. When they had a two point lead, I think at 17 15, the Brazilian era came, they lead by three, and that's something sometimes you just can't teach. Very good stuff. Australia just really do dominate with that two ball. Just makes everything else so much easier. The blocker has to pay attention for the attack on two. That means that sometimes they're not actually set up for the attack on three. Out of system, Duda swinging from way underneath the ball. Clancy is equal to it again. Great vision in the block from Clancy. And way to put the ball away from Artaccio. They're teaming up and they are dominating here. Clancy for someone who hasn't been blocking for so long is so committed with her vision at the net. Her eyes are well and truly on the spiker, not on the ball. Helps with the line, it helps with the timing and it helps with the press as well. Nerdling away as Agatha doesn't hit many hard in that direction, but she needs to tell Australia that she can hit it because they're all over on the line. Tatcha now with the back set. They run the two. They have to go to the line. It's perfect. Once again, even if Brazil choose to break the block there, because they're travelling across the net, it's always going to make them slower with that decision to break. Game of percentages. She hits the line there. It's a high chance. Artaccio wins the point. And that she does. Rips good from Clancy. The ball is long and... It's not what Australia had in the semi-final. Constant service pressure from Clancy. Using the serve as a weapon and really putting the pressure on. In the quarterfinal against Labora and Suda from Germany. 
Job serve was really on point and effective. That time, not so much. Dummy two ball from Maria Feotaccio. Excellent decision to sit in the middle and take the hard hit from Duda. Both teams chasing so hard here. Jumbo! From Artaccio. Just sends it high on the Jumbo. Agatha shifts to take the line. Duda in no man's land. Agatha, very smart, dynamic, using her arms very well in her approach to get more height, and then she takes speed out of her arm at the last minute to work the block. Tall and Clancy, they go wide here, the Aussies look to beat line, something that Australia like to do. Doug. Difficult to see from here whether they went late on the angle there, Brazil, or whether they're always lined up blocking angle with Duda sitting on the line. Be a good tactic for them if that is the case. Clancy this time from the middle of court. This time she was tall. To two points ago from Agatha. Gets her own back and takes the Brazilian to Tall Town. And we'll service pressure. Agatha again the target. Again, pretty straight. She just tries to knock on the line, but Clancy sees it. Oh, there's some juggling going on. Agatha with the ace. Clancy moves short. It looks as if it might have been going out, and it took a touch off Clancy at the last moment. Agatha again. How would Brazil love a lead here? That ball gets too close to Clancy in her reception. It ends up going towards the grandstand. This is good stuff from Agatha. Chances are this goes to Clancy again. Tacho may look to use the two ball to get her partner off. Oh. Yeah, she does use the two ball indeed. Just takes the pressure. Off of Clancy. Ace twice in a row. Way to help your partner out. Maria Faye Antaccio. It's good serving from the Brazilians, though. Agatha gets the ball stuffed back in her face. Clancy again. Her eyes are on the prize. She's finishing well. Her timing's very good as a result of her vision. You can see her eyes are always looking under the peak of her cap. Her head doesn't go up and look at the ball. It's a good example for any young blocker. There again. This time, seen it three or four times in this game already. Agatha just tries to steer the ball, just guide it on that sharp angle. Strokes it. It's soft, it's smooth, but it's also wide. Australia take the lead again. This time, Agatha hitting from just off the net. Oh, the Tomahawk's out, but it's well read from Duda. Overset though, Clancy buries it. Slightly scrappy ball. But Australia will not mind. Tachio. The tomahawk enough to cause some destruction in the Brazil camp. <laughs> Technical timeout comes round again. And it's Brazil with all the work to do.
Australia. We've had changes in their coaching system as of late. It's the first tournament for the new team under the guidance of Kirk Pittman. It looks like a good one so far, a good fit. I mean, they haven't had lots of time on the training court. Swing from Brazil makes it 11 all. This time, Tachio from the center. A little bit of confusion between Duda and Agatha, that's for sure. Looking to go on two again, Clancy whips it back to the line. Wonderful stuff again. Every opportunity the Australians get, they try and put it on the net to try and win the point at the earliest time of asking. That's what Clancy does so well. She gets her feet to the ball. And that means she can go angle or she can just guide it back as she did just then. Wonderful stuff. Ball's dying inside. Sneak into the business time. Another dummy two ball from Artacho back to Clancy. The cover is extremely good from Artacho. And that's, that's a world-class swing. She's at 80-90%, but she's picked out the back corner so, so well. It doesn't matter who you play against. It's going to score points all day long. Brazil are having to play well just to keep up with Australia here. Maybe not. Artaccio this time with the slightly higher float serve. Brazil now back in struggle town. Agatha off the net again. She just outweighs. She looks a couple of times. And then she really does. She's not high. She's just trying to spot the gap all the time. Maria Faye has dug a lot of balls in this game. But that was too good. Another dummy two ball from Maria Faye. This time it's a cutty from Clancy. The sides change ends at 15-13. Duda and Agatha. You cannot write them off. Even when they're slightly out of system, their recovery setting is so good. They hang on in there again. The Australians have to stay calm under pressure. Pressure is something they got accustomed to playing in a home Commonwealth Games last week. Chip to the line from Clancy is read so well from Agatha, but she makes up for it in the block, Clancy. Agatha bringing a bit of drama going to the referee, but Clancy might be a little bit disgruntled with that first swing. Agatha broke the block. And the line shot from Clancy didn't quite have enough gas in it to, to trouble the Brazilians, but the blocking again from Clancy has been very good. Agatha unleashes on the angle. Sets a little bit inside, but she gets it back to the line well. Altaccio, chance from Brazil on the outside. Super lofty line shot, but it's a very good one all the same. Altaccio was running around trying to cover the cross-court swing. The chip to the line, too good. We're tied at 16. Is that two-point lead from Australia? Well, it was a strong position, but Brazil don't give up. Talking of not giving up, that's outstanding overhand defense from Duda. Not the second time. Again, they try and win the point at the earliest time of asking in the rally. Maria Faye, Altaccio, again, so dynamic out the sand. Gets her feet inside the ball and just whips it on the angle on two. Duda didn't even have time to set up and take a breath. 
Australia will want to get this done in two. Sidelines for Agatha. You do not become a world champion without being accurate, without scoring points at big, big times. Glancy again, the target. Too high, too strong from Taliqua Clancy. Change of ends, potentially the last change of ends in this bronze medal match. Have Australia got what it takes to see this one over the line and take the bronze medal, or have Brazil got an answer? No, Clancy with yet another kill block for someone who has just transitioned from a defender since the Rio Olympics. She's a big, big player in big, big games. And now someone who can play multiple positions at a world-class level. Clancy firing Australia through this bronze medal match there. 1917 up, Brazil need to take a breather here in Charmaine. the Australians watching at home. It's been a very good couple of weeks at the Commonwealth Games. Q and Schumann winning the Commonwealth Games in the men's event. Clancy and Artaccio taking silver. And now it looks as if they're going to take a bronze here in Charmen. And they serve Artaccio. It's been such a dominant serving display at times from the Australians, the spin serve from Clancy, but the float serve also very good from Artaccio. High line, but it goes long. It's a bronze medal for Australia. Taliqua Clancy. And Maria Faye Artaccio beat Brazil in two. It's the second time this week they've beaten a Brazilian team. A proud day for the Australians as they look to the stand towards their new coach, Kurt Pittman. He'll be very, very happy with their performance this week. A bronze medal for Australia. Frustration for Duda and Agatha. Agatha, a world champion in 2015. Duda, still just 19 years old and a double junior world champion. Their time is certainly coming. What a performance. Australia take bronze here in Charmen. Artaccio and Clancy win 21-18. 21-17. They served so well, blocked well, and their side-out percentage was still very, very high. They run the two ball well throughout the game. Just helped when trying to take the pressure off of each other's pass. Clancy and Altaccio. Take the bronze. Their first in four star competition. Wins in a two star and a three star. Now a bronze.